Okay, so this is still going to be a while before I finish this one, but I am starting to think about how we're going to build this heel. Um, you can see there I've sort of measured out the size of the heel that I need. It's going to be 16 centimeters from here to there. So it's going to be about that far. 13 centimeters what wide, so that's that. And then 15 centimeters thick. That's from the face to the top of that tooling hole. Um, the piece of plate that I got that I mentioned in my previous video when I restored that one is only 90. So again, I'm going to sit with a situation where I don't have the correct size. And I thought maybe what I could do is cut that piece of 90 plate longer and then heat it up in the forge and actually forge it down and get it to the shape that I need. But again, it's going to be so much work. I mean, this is not a very, I don't even know what make this anvil is. It's British. It's old. I mean, it's, it's nothing spectacular. It's nothing special, you know? So, um, what I decided to do is I'm going to use that piece of 90 mil plate and then I'm going to use this piece of 50 square stock that I've, that I used for that heel over there. And I'm going to set it up so like like that. Um, I'm going to use this at the bottom. And that'll give me a nice bevel so that I can weld this over here. I can build up welding here and on the other side uh, there to the 90 mil plate, which will sit on top of this. Um, and then I just marked out that because, again, this is going to have to be beveled to the center as well as the 90 mil plate, so I can weld all of this up here. Um, so I think that's gonna be the best way. It will be very strong. Obviously I'll preheat uh, both. I'm not gonna forge weld it together. Way too much work and very difficult. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna electric weld this, I'll MIG weld it. So I'll basically preheat, I'll tack these, the two pieces together. Once they're cut and I'm happy with everything, I'll tack them together and then put them in the forge preheat them, uh, pro probably a really nice preheat. Um, I'll probably do like 300 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Celsius, you know, um, something like that, nice and hot. And then I'll just weld uh, these two pieces together. That way they all, they'll be one piece. They'll never ever separate. Um, and then obviously do exactly the same. Once I've got a heel that I've made for this, then I can um, do the same, preheat this, preheat that, and then build all this up um, with weld. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be the, the best bet for this just to get this bottom piece. Cause I mean, it's not much, if you think about it, it's, it's going to be that bit there, you know, so it's not much that I have to have at the bottom, but I rather use a piece of, of steel than just weld on a piece of 90 more plate and build up this huge section here, I'd rather have that, and then I'll just build up where it need be. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know how this video is gonna go. This is the first clip of that video. So um, I'm gonna try and film my thinking process along with how I actually get this done. Just so you guys can see my piece of 90 mil plate. This is what I got from the guy that bought the um, two and a half centiweight Brooks uh, anvil. I'll um, yeah, I'll link that video in the description in case you guys haven't seen it. But this is the piece of plate um, that he brought for me. It weighs about 200 and, what 215 kgs or something like that. Um, really nice piece of plate that I can use for building up hills and stuff. Obviously you can see there's holes going right through it. So I have to sort of work around where there are holes uh, it's a piece of scrap, so I mean, yeah, we're gonna do what we can do. Anyways, so what I'm thinking is a piece of um, the heel for that broken anvil, I think I'm gonna use this section here. Um, we need 13 centimeters. 
So that'll take us right to the middle of that hole, which is perfect because then I can, I can have this sectioned and then I'll build that hole up, you know, so that it's one piece of steel. That way the hole doesn't bother me. Um, and then it needs to be 16 long. So yeah, that's, uh, sorry guys, I'm holding this with my, I haven't got the tripod or anything set up here. Using my teeth to <laughs> get this tape measure to where I want it. So it's 16 long. So it'll actually only be like a little piece of that. Um, over here where it's cut, that's where my bevel will be, you know, like that. It's already almost got a nice bevel here. I'll clean that up, sharpen it up a bit. Um, and then this piece here will fit. Oh, sorry. Get off the floor. Like that, you know. Obviously, from underneath. Something like that, you know. So now you can sort of get an idea that's what it'll look like from the top. Obviously, both plates will be sectioned the same. Um, and then all of that will be filled with welding. And all of that will be filled with welding. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so I think that is the plan. That's going to give me the best rough shape of the heel. And then obviously from there, I can um, build up with welding and um, get the shape correct. And then just so you guys know how I'm calculating the length of my heels. Um, on the first one, I sort of just guessed um, and I, I sketched it out on my table and I decided sort of where the heel looks good. Then I got that um, Peter Wright that I um, dipped in the other video. I'll probably link that in the description as well. That'll probably be video two or electrolysis or something like that. Um, anyways, so on that, on that, on that anvil, what I did is the body of the anvil. So not the edge of the horn. Uh, let me, let me hold on. I'll show you guys here. Let me explain. Okay. so. Not this, this is another Brooks that I have to do. Okay, but I'm talking about where the horn meets the body. So there, you come up, whatever length that is, okay, divide that by six, uh, well, sorry, 1.68, and that will give you that length there on most anvils. Um, the Peter Wright has a really, really nice, um, this is a Brooks, I mean, it's nice, but the Peter Wright has a slightly longer heel and it is a really nice proportion. So I've had a look at a few of these anvils and they're all about the same. Um, so that will be that distance times 1.68 will be that distance there. That's sort of the maths. So that is how I'm calculating what length heel I need over there. Um, and by chance, I actually, I was like, okay, well, let me actually see what this works out to. I did that measurement there of the horn. I divided it by 1.68 and this is one centimeter shorter. So it was meant, the heel was meant to end there according to my calculations. So that means that the calculation is, is cool. So I've set up in my saw, where I need to cut, sorry, there you go, where I need to cut across. So I'm just gonna switch this on and then let that cut this block. I'll cut that on the saw. And um, yeah, after I've cut that, I'll obviously come here, I'll have to plasma cut that piece off. And then I'll probably put that piece in here too, if it'll fit. I'll have to have a look and see.
So this machine I've had for about three years, two or three years now. And this is the first time I've ever cut through something with it. I've cut through some wooden planks and stuff like that. But steel wise, this is the first time I've ever cut with it. It had an old blade on it that was completely blunt. So I got this blade and I'm very, very happy with the way it works. Um, I obviously ran the machine, I oiled up all of the, all of these little oil gallery type things. But other than that, I haven't used it. And this is really, really cool. So I'm super, super happy. Got this machine for free, of course. Um, I bought, well, uh, it was part of a, another whole job lot of stuff that I did, that I bought. Uh, I bought this machine, I bought an anvil, I bought that press, I bought the little generator that you've seen in the first video. Um, what else? And there was a few other things that I bought all from the same place. And I've just never needed this machine before. But now, I mean, I could have done that with a, I could have done that with a big angle grinder, but this worked really well. So happy with that. And there you have it. Nice cut. Blade is still sharp. And there's my piece of heel that'll weld in like that. Yeah. So that did not work. You can see it doesn't really cut very far down at all. So I have no idea how I'm gonna cut this out. Probably just a big angle grinder with a massive cutting disc. It's the only way I can think of. Anyways, let me give that a try. So this does seem to be working. Sorry for the weird lighting. Going as far down as I can. So now the trick is that I need to flip this piece of 200 kg plate over. I don't quite know how I'm going to do that. So I totally figured out that on the spot, I did not know how I was gonna do this, but anyway, it worked out fine. Um, so yeah, there you can see, so basically now I'll just scrub lines across. Lighting's awful, sorry. And then uh, I'm just gonna bring the big grind out here. I'm not gonna take it all the way back there. It's a bit of a bitch having to pull this pallet jack over grass. So I'm going to try and see if I can do it here. And then basically after I'm done, everything goes back inside this workshop. So 
we'll see figuring this out with you guys on camera no judgment Well, there you have it. It's off. It's quite a bit of work, but not as much as forging one. So, 